My name's Emma. I run an Instagram account called The Crap Flat, which is all about my one woman struggle with my stubbornly crap rented flat in East London. And I'm here today to talk you through the ways that I've conquered my crap rental flat and the ways that you can do it. The biggest thing in the flat is about zoning, so we've created distinct areas for each function. You'll notice as well, everything in this area is the same sort of tones of greyish, so beige, grey, a little bit of green, um, and very natural textures, so keeping that idea of kind of texture and depth coming through. We knew that we wanted to have somewhere that we could sit and enjoy our meals, but it needed to be very compact. So we've used a really small table. We've created texture by adding um, a linen tablecloth. One of the worst things about living in a rental property is the lighting. They're usually overhead spotlights, which are really harsh. A solution that we've found is to simply rewire a pendant light like this one and make it into a plug-in, which means you can dress a space, create its own little area without actually wiring anything in. Behind the dining area, we've put up this big shelving unit, which helps to, again, feel like you're moving out of a space and again, just helps to segregate those areas and separate the flat in our minds. One of the best ways that we've found to add light and new dimensions to our space is using mirrors. If you can't hang mirrors in your space, a great option is just to lean them against the wall. The same with pictures, it just lends a really cool New York loft kind of vibe wherever your flat is. When we moved into the flat four years ago, the kitchen was probably one of the worst parts. So we've actually just managed to change quite a lot and that's due largely to the fact that our landlord now trusts us to make these changes. If you can't paint in your home, there are loads of options for you. You can get um, decals for tiles that you can also get bigger sheets of vinyl and then when you come to the end of your tenancy you can just peel them off and they actually don't leave any residue so it's a really good option for people who aren't allowed to make changes. We've managed to paint the top and bottom cupboard doors. We've spray painted the handles um, in a really durable enamel spray, two coats and you're done. In the calmest room in the flat, function is everything. We have a lot of closed storage in this space, which means anything with a cupboard door or with a drawer, including the TV stand, which is a dual purpose in that it has two drawers and a cupboard. We also have this extendable coffee table, which comes out to twice its normal size. This is great when we have friends round because it means that we can open up the table to twice its size, loads of space for drinks, games, anything that you really want. One of my biggest tips is about command strip. If you can't make holes in the wall, a great idea is to command strip the frame and then this here that looks like I've put a nail in the wall is actually just blue tacked on, so it seems like it's hanging. This is the bedroom where we've had multiple problems. So as you can see, there's no natural storage in this space, um, which means that we've had to get a bit clever. This bed is actually an Ottoman bed, so it means this whole section lifts up and underneath you'll find all the stuff that we don't want anyone to see. And what we've done is install two little shelves above the bed, which means that we always have a place to put our books, our phones, and anything that we need to keep nearby. With no bedside tables, there's nowhere to put a stand-up table lamp down. Um, so we've actually suspended these ones from the ceiling and installed our own inline switch. In this side of the room, what we've done is use the space in a few different ways. We noticed that we were chucking all our dirty clothes and hats and bags on the floor when they weren't being used. So instead of carrying on doing that, we've installed this hook rack to give us a nice place to store them and also make a bit of feature out of what was a previously unused wall. And over here you can see the boxed in water pipes. So we've actually made a feature of this area using vases and pictures to style it up and a leaner mirror on the top. This has been The Crap Flat. I hope you've enjoyed my tips and tricks and I hope that they help you turn your rental home into somewhere that you can love. Thanks for stopping by.